What's up everyone, welcome back. We are currently on the resort walkway right now, heading over to our first night of Halloween Horror Nights 31. Let's do it. Now just like we do every year, we purchased the Rush of Fear ticket with Express. So this is our first of four nights. We're gonna try and get through all houses, do all the scare zones, maybe a couple rides, catch a show or two, and kind of just give you our general thoughts on the event this year. We were here last year for Halloween Horror Nights 30 and I'll drop that video in the comments below. Really pumped to see the COVID restrictions, hopefully not in place like they were last year. We're excited to get back to a regular year of scares. So with that, we're almost to City Walk. We're about to head in and experience our first night. Why don't you guys come along with us? Let's go. Come on, medallion's looking good. They only did two two houses over here. They usually fill it all the way up, but I think because there's only four IPs, they don't want to throw the originals up there. Well, let's go inside. You ready? Woo! Woo let's do it. What's up, man? Are you right there, boss? All right, we in here. Let's go. Olivia really wants a hat, so she's gonna hit up the gift shop. I'm gonna go see. Ooh, the pumpkin lord's not even out there. We're getting a quick look at some of the merch here. A bunch of little blue stuff, but no hack, fortunately. So we'll keep looking. I extend my grabbing vines and grow Halloween. I have taken root and will now accept your praise. I am the Pumpkin Lord! Yeah. <laughs> yes! Woo! First, yeah, let's go. First scares on the night. This is Horrors of Halloween. And it kind of pays homage to the five individual scare zones that we're going to see throughout the park. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, baby. There's little Boo. There he is. Uh -huh. This is Steam the Sweet Revenge. One of the scare zones in the New York section we're about to check out here. It's about 45 minutes after opening and Spirits of the Coven, one of the first houses, only has a 35 minute wait. That's pretty good. It's a Thursday night, so hopefully not too busy, but I don't know. Recently we've seen pretty big crowds, so not exactly sure what to expect. Olivia's got her eyes on the little boo hat, so we're going to see if we can find it in the trivia store real quick. I want it so bad. <laughs> And this is the Sweet Revenge Scare Zone. We'll check that out uh, once we finish up shopping here. All right. This year's tribute store is actually themed to a Halloween dark ride. You can see the controls here and the ride track on the floor. Awesome. Such great detail. Look at that coming right out of the, the cat's mouth. Incredible. Yes. Smells absolutely amazing in here. Hollow Hill Cemetery. This is the second room. Wow. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. So detailed. Some cool Halloween merch. That's awesome. Continuing along our dark ride experience. Oh, look at the ghosts. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> There's our boy Ricks. So essentially people paid to have their photo stuck on the side of the tribute store here. I don't know exactly what it costs, but it's kind of funny. 
Uh, this is Taylor from Orlando Informer. There's some pretty, you know, famous, I guess, you know, well-known vloggers on here. These two, uh, Vina Vista visitors, travelers, whatever they're called. I think Tim and Jen are in here somewhere. Huh. Room number three. <laughs> wow. This is where they roast the children. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. You can see the dark ride continuing on through here. So awesome. And our first batch of treats here. Woo, check these out. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Let me know if you have any questions. Looks incredible. It's all delicious too. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> they look awesome. I love the Sea of Screamers merch. I guess is there a version of a lounge fly? Wow, that's a dope shirt. That is so cool. What's the price on this guy? 70 bucks. All right, that ain't cheap. Sweet shirt though. Popcorn buckets, I believe. <laughs> that's awesome. And they got the collectible vinyl figures. I might have to pick up one or two of these for my man cave at home. Different characters from last year, so I think I gotta get it. All right, this is the fourth and final room, the Haunted Hollow Hills. And Olivia has not had any luck finding her little boo hat. Uh, I think it might be sold out, unfortunately. Yeah, we're gonna find it. We're we're determined. Again, see the dark ride track coming through here. So epic. One of the better tribute stores we've seen. I think this is the best Halloween tribute store I've seen thus far. This is super cool. Chucky. Oh my God. Some crazy merch in here. Here's the plastic Moldoramas. You have Frankenstein and let's see, the Halloween cat. Cool. Hey, hey. And we're about to buy these. <laughs> All right, so we got some Studio Screamers. I got six of these from last year in my man cave. We're gonna open them up real quick and see what we got. Hopefully something cool. I really hope I got maybe Mike Myers, the director's suite, Pumpkin Lord. I was gonna say Pumpkin Lord. Let's see what we got. You go first. Okay. Ready? What we got? <laughs> mm, good one. Yep. Oh, the bride? The All bride right. Of Frankenstein, which you don't have. Yeah, I think I have Frankenstein, so. Yeah, so this is perfect. <laughs> He's and met his match. And it's a girl that I have. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right, now me. Yes, the director. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. All right. That does it for the tribute store. Except for the merch at the end here. Why don't they sell this crap? Super cool shirts. All right, we out. Nice, right, spits us right into the sweet revenge scare zone. Wow, it's really loud out here. Oh my gosh. Whoa. The deadly bar. That is dead. He crashed. Some cool floats out here. Wow, that guy's super dead. He died. The mummy's reopened. It's a 20 minute wait. We're definitely doing that later tonight. Best spot to grab a liquor drink over here in the park is Finnegan's. They got a full bar in there. That's the spot. Wow, what a sick float. So cool. One of the theme bar experiences, or I guess food experiences for this year, this is the Meats Locker. We're not gonna be checking it out right now. Let's see if I can show the menu there real quick. Super well themed. This is the first time they've used this area over here and really well done, honestly. What did you think about those first two scare zones? I love them. Yeah, that's cool. They don't really have a whole lot of room to work with in the first one. 
Yeah, definitely. And that's, I think, what they're going for because it's the 31st year. They're kind of playing into the 31 days in October, all that good stuff. Yeah. We're digging it thus far. So you're getting back to their roots. So what I was trying to explain, the first scare zone is basically they have different set pieces for the other four scare zones throughout the park. It kind of gives you a taste of what you're about to experience. And then the second one there was Sweet Revenge. It's themed to a street fair or like a carnival where they're giving out candy to all the kids and the candy makes them yeah, crazy. Them. Yep, and they start killing people. It looks like good candy though. Yeah, I know, right? What's freakier than a mutant kid with an ax? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, kids are freaky to begin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're coming up to Conjure the Dark in the San Francisco area right now, but we're gonna hit Shea Alcatraz first and get a drink. This is another location that's got a full alcohol bar or full liquor bar, whatever you wanna call it. This is Shea Alcatraz over in San Francisco near Contra the Dark, near the old earthquake, Fast and Furious back here. We're gonna get some drinks, some liquid courage. Hey, what's up? Good. A shot this time. Yes. Red shot. Are you ready for it? Oh yeah. Awesome. All right, first drinks of the night. Olivia got the ocean attack, of course, had to. And I got my tea doesn't spray. We're walking into Conjure the Dark. This is a witch coven themed scare zone. I'll give a little backstory here once we walk through. Oh my gosh. <laughs> from these tortured souls. It shall be our vitality! From within the deepest trenches of the void, I conjure my flesh seekers. Venture forth into the night and fill it with screams, for there will soon be flesh to satiate rabbits. I conjure my war-forged ravagers. Guard the gateways of our dimension, my loyal groups, and gather the elements to summon the houses of power. Bear witness as I conjure the dark. Conjure the dark, that was sweet. Yeah. I was not expecting to be that good. The San Francisco area usually doesn't have good scare zones because it's so small. Yeah. How did you, I mean, I, it was I was great. psyched yeah, about that I, one. I think it's amazing compared to like years past. Yeah, Dead Man's Pier is the only other one that's been good. Yeah. Um, they have three different shows apparently in there. I caught a couple of them, but it's awesome. They got some variation. The actors, uh, masks and all that are unreal. Some of the best I've seen. So I think that's my favorite so yeah. far. We're heading past Central Park. Uh, it's getting kind of dark, but we're gonna try and catch these two scare zones before night falls here. This is, Scarecrow, Cursed Soil, and we're coming through the back, so we'll probably do a double back just so we can see the front part of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, that is epic. Oh my gosh. Look at this big barn set piece. Coming through the barn structure. Oh boy. 
<laughs> Pump in the fog. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my god he's moving <laughs> oh wow look at that <laughs> incredible <laughs> Oh my gosh, so many scare actors in here. That is awesome. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> the sisters, the twins. Oh my god. <laughs> Heading into our fifth scare zone. This is Graveyard Deadly Unrest. I know it's dark in here, but I'm gonna try and do my best to get some shots. This is incredible though. We did a walkthrough already, but. <laughs> oh my gosh. These sisters are terrifying. <laughs> Love the atmosphere in here. It's supposed to be set during a thunderstorm. Oh my gosh. This is great. This is awesome. That was sweet. What a scare zone. That was incredible. One more time from the front of Scarecrow Curse Soil, the way it was meant to be enjoyed. Here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Lighting is sweet. Yeah, the lanterns up in the tree. That's usually where they have the pumpkins. Or what have they had in the trees in the past? Pumpkins, pumpkins. and other stuff. Yeah. Light up pumpkins. Oh, my God. Dude, look at this barn structure here. This is epic. Looks great at night. kicked it off with all the scare zones. I didn't really plan it that way, but we did want to do them before it got dark and we got here a little bit late, so they were awesome. Uh, definitely a step up over last year. Which was your favorite so yeah, far? Yeah, I think, I honestly love the entrance. Yeah. The, the uh, pumpkin lord. Yeah, like that is fireworks. great Fire, addition. That yeah. Is, that's like a great way to kick it off, especially for like the Halloween theme. I think that's like yeah. spot on. Agreed. And I, I think they added that fire effect just last night, so that's super cool. We're one of the first people yeah. to see it. My favorite, uh, that graveyard one was unreal. I thought Scarecrow would be my favorite. I think it's between Conjure the Dark and Scarecrow, though. Or, I'm sorry, Conjure the Dark and Graveyard. And I think Graveyard has a lot of space to work with. Yeah. Versus, you know, Scarecrow, it's smaller. Yeah. So I feel like if maybe a Scarecrow was in Graveyard, it would be 
your favorite too. Like it's, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like the graveyard one is so long, so like there's a lot. Of I guess, but I do like, um, I do really like that Central Park area. Yeah. They've had some good scare zones, and uh, I just think they had some really awesome set pieces there in uh, the Hollywood area. So I don't know. We got a couple more nights. We'll see how it changes throughout the run, but that's kind of our initial thoughts. Yeah. All right, these are our first two houses tonight. We're back here near ET. This is the weekend and Universal Monsters is over here. Sorry, the lighting's a little bit messed up. You can't really see the wait time. 60 and 55, but we're burning our express pass for the first time this night. Let's do it. First house of the night. Woo! The weekend, the after hours nightmare. It's lit over here, let's go. Number two, Universal Monsters. Eyes and Glide. Dracula, the mummy, and the wolf man. First two houses down. We did the weekend, after hours nightmare, and Universal Monsters, Legends Glide. What do you think? Amazing. Yeah, they're both awesome. Yeah, the weekend was really good. A lot of like jump scares, a lot of strobe lights. Yes. I like it. Music was bumping. It had a good vibe in there. Universal Monsters, really heavy on the mummy. Yeah. There's two others in there, Dracula and the Wolfman. I, I like the mummy. Yeah, it's cool. It's yeah. kind of like an ext uh, extended cue yeah. of the mummy, the Revenge of the Mummy ride. It was good. Uh, who won at the end? I think it was Dracula, actually. Yeah, it was Dracula. Which no, is super cool. The mummy had Dracula's head. Oh, that's right. Yep. Yeah. Which the is mummy, cool. Mummy devoured. Different winner every night. That's dope. I'm sure it'll change as we go along, but I don't know. It's good two houses to start with. Let's yeah. see what else we got. No Chainsaw Horde in Springfield. We're heading to Descendants of Destruction and Bug House, yeah. I think. Right in the back of the park near Men in Black. Third house of the evening, this is Descendants of Destruction. All right, let's do it. Sights? Yeah. Going into the subway, underground. Third house of the night, Woo! Descendants of Destruction. Beautiful facade, let's do it. House number four, this is Bugs Eating Alive. Heard a lot of good things about this. I'm not too freaked out by bugs, but a lot of people are really spooked about this one. All right, we're back over near uh, Diagon Alley. It's kind of dark and loud. Nightmare fuel is going on. We just did bugs, Eaten Live, and Descendants of Destruction. What did you think? I thought they were both great. Yeah, I totally agree. Descendants of Destruction, we heard that it was based like loosely on the previous house from 2019, Dead Exposure, Patient Zero. There are a lot of elements from there with the uh, subway cars. The sets were incredible. Yeah. There was one subway car that was turned up at like a 45 degree angle. I've never seen something like that before. That was awesome. And we, had, I, I feel like we had a really good run through. Yeah, I thought it was a great run through. Like compared to Dead Exposure, Dead Exposure was just a lot darker and a lot scarier because it was just dark and there was a lot of sif. There was yeah. a lot of just people popping out where this was more or less like intricate sets. So a little like, different yeah. vibe yeah. for sure. Uh, but Bugs was really good. We've uh, heard a lot of good things. I liked Bugs. Yeah, I did too. It's a lot different than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I thought like it was the, like cute theming. Yeah, with the know. oversized yeah. Bugs. I thought it was going to be more, you know, creepy crawlies and things like that. But it was cool. Yeah. And the, the backstory was good. I yeah. thought they were two great houses. Like, I, I feel like other videos that we were watching, you know, they were like, hmm, they're not going to be too great. But I yeah. thought they were good. Both, both of them were good. Yeah, totally agree. Let's see what else we got. We're heading towards... I think we need to get on the mummy. It's yeah. been like, yeah. uh, it's, it's been time. a while since we've been on the mummy. So we're heading over there. We got some more houses at the front of the park. We're gonna walk through Conjure the Dark again, but it's been it's been an awesome night so far. Yeah. The mummy is still in technical rehearsal, so we can't use our express pass. And it's a 60 minute wait right now. We ain't waiting on that. I don't get it. It's been open for like three weeks now and they're still, in tech rehearsal. Looks like a lot of people are getting turned away. It's a 60 minute wait. I don't know if you can see it there. Anyway, we'll come back. Hopefully at the end of the night. Next up, the horrors of Blumhouse. This is a mix of Freaky and Black Phone. What do you think about Blumhouse? It's awesome. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. We never saw Freaky, but it was much longer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And Black Phone was pretty cool. We got some good scares in there. Yeah, I like that they split it into two houses. Yeah. All right, we're heading into Halloween Nightmare Fuel. Hopefully it's as good as last year. We just got out of Halloween Nightmare Fuel Wildfire. Super psyched about that one. We loved it last year. What did you think about this year? I thought it was good. I had very high expectations, so I was a little bit disappointed with the music, but I still thought it was great. I mean, the 
unreal. Yeah, the actors are great. The music, it, it was very similar to last year. I, I just don't think you could capture that same energy. It, I don't know. It was brand new last year, so I think that had something to do with it. It's very loud over here, but we're going to try and do Dead Man's Pier. And then Fiesta de Chupacabras. And I think Halloween's over here too. So we're gonna do three in a row, I think, in quick succession. And we'll uh, give a review at the end of it. Later that same evening. The last of the three, this is Halloween, the original, 1978. Halloween, let's go, Henry! All right, we're working our way back to the front. This is our ninth house of the night, Spirits of the Coven. Let's do it. This is right in front of the music stage here in front of Rip Red Rocket. We just went rapid fire there. <laughs> Sorry about that. We kind of just jumped around from four houses. We did Dead Man's Pier, my most anticipated. Then we did Fiesta de Chupacabras, Halloween, and the last one we did just there a minute ago was Spears of the Coven. What did you think? Of all of them? Yeah, um, I know. It's a lie. Sorry. I would say Amazing sets. Yeah. I don't think it was super scary, but I think Agreed. the sets were amazing. Uh, yep. Chupacabra, I thought was okay. I wasn't really into the theme. But... Similar deal. I really like the theme. Yeah. Uh, great sets. Uh, a little light on the scares, yeah. similar. But uh, Halloween was incredible. Yes. It's amazing. been, they've had the uh, Halloween franchise so many times here at Horror Nights, but I don't know. That I think this one was really good. Yeah. It, Went back to the original film from 1978. Yeah. I thought it followed it to a T. It was really cool. And the scares were good. Agreed. Michael Myers can get pretty old, but they mixed it up quite a bit. Yeah. Had some misdirection in there. Lastly, Spears of the Coven. Okay. A little light on scare actors. They had a whole whole lot more boo holes and triggers in there that yeah. they, they could have used. I thought the sets were really good. Oh, yeah. It was, it was the long, I think, the longest house of the night, maybe other than Dead Man's Pier. I think the theme was great. I just think they were missing all of the material. Yeah, really easy story to follow. But um, I don't know, it just didn't really do it for me. Maybe it was our run through. Yeah. I really like the theme of it, so we're going to give it another try another night. But we have one more house to do. And that's Hellblock Horror right at the front of the park. Let's go do it. One more time through Horrors of Halloween. Oh my God. Whew. Holy crap. <laughs> Man, the still walkers are out in force this year. I love it. And the pumpkins are lit up. It looks beautiful. Oh my gosh. Hello. <laughs> uh, so awesome. One of your favorites, right? Yeah, this is good. Our last house of the night, Hellblock Horror. Let's go. Woo! I can't believe we did it. Cast change here, right at the front of the line. <laughs> That's funny. This is Hellblock Horror. We're about to go inside. Last house of the night, we've done all 10. We did it. High five. Yes, backhand. <laughs> <laughs> that was Hellblock Horror. Yeah. I thought it was all right. Um, yeah, I don't know. The, yeah. theme, the theme was great. And they set the stage well with the prison guards at the beginning, but it just kind of fell flat after that. Yeah. It was a little weird. With the different monsters in there, too. Yeah. I don't I know. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's very strange when the alien from the invasion scares and pops out halfway through the scares yeah. up, or halfway through the house. Uh, it just didn't. It wasn't cohesive. We've heard rumors that that might have been slated for a different IP. Possibly Evil Dead or Stranger Things, so they had to, yeah, make something happen in the last minute. It wasn't bad. Maybe we just got a bad run yeah. through. There were a lot of extra scares in there that it doesn't seem like we get, but I don't know. That's it for us. We're heading out. We're going to do one last review. Pumpkin 
All right, that's it for night one. We're heading out. It's a little bit early, but we've got a full week ahead of us, so we will definitely be back. Woo! All right. <laughs> we just left the front gates over here. First night of Halloween Horror Nights 31. What did you think? I loved it. Yeah, awesome. Uh, we did all 10 houses, went through five scare zones. We didn't do each show. We did Halloween Nightmare Fuel, but unfortunately we didn't get to Ghoulish tonight. We'll hit that at some point. Maybe I'll drop some footage in there from that one. Awesome night. We'll we'll be back for some food and some other things. But yeah. what do you think uh, in terms of favorite house? What, what what did you say? So run through the houses. I would have to say my favorite tonight is the weekend. Woo. All right. Yeah, I was not expecting that to be Damn. my favorite, but I feel like the run through that we got was really good. And I just thought the music was great. The house the house theming was great. The scare actors. So yeah. that was my favorite. What about you? I would say Dead Man's Pier is still my favorite. Uh, incredible. I'm a sucker for the set design and yeah. the whole story and everything. That one does have a good story. And yeah, I really just like the theme of it. The costumes are awesome. Uh, the the hook guys with the fishy yeah. beards and Davy Jones and like the bow, nonsense the going on. Yeah, that one was crazy. incredible. Yeah. Scare Zone wise, I was gonna say, what's your favorite scare zone? yeah, um, I think it's probably a tie between Conjure the Dark and the Graveyard Deadland Rest in the Hollywood area. Okay. That was okay. Yeah, the graveyard. Was we said the the first goes in at first, which was awesome. Yeah, as well, the, but. I I'm always a big fan of like classic Halloween, so of course that yeah. one. I just it's hard to pick that one because it's so short. Yeah. And I love and I love Limited. Pumpkin Lord. Um, that was yeah, just super unreal. epic. And again, adding that flame effect yeah. there, I think I captured that pretty well at the end of the night here. Yeah. So I guess that one. Would be the yeah. Lord sets it over. over it's wild top. though because I think Conjure the Dark was my least anticipated scare zone. That one blew my mind actually. Yeah. Uh, with the three different shows and it was full of scare actors. I was going to say, I feel like they stepped up their game with split scare zones. And yeah. Shit. But all in all, it was a fantastic year. I think definitely an upgrade over Halloween Horror Nights 30. Yeah. Especially with the, you know, lacks of restrictions and things like that. That's it though. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're going to have plenty more videos coming out. Not just from Horror Nights here. Yeah. We're gonna go to Howl Scream. We, we did not so scary on. the other night. We got some uh, resort tours going on. Yeah, so definitely stay tuned. We got a lot of good stuff coming out. With that, thank you guys so much for joining in. We'll see you next time. Bye. Epic night. We out. We're going back home to Sapphire Falls. Let's do it.